switching gears here for a hot second, more <laughs> older workers are working now than in previous decades. 62% of older workers are working full time compared with 47% in 1987. That's according to Pew Research Center. Kerry, I hate using the word old, so we'll just say more seasoned, more intelligent, uh, largely, folks out there still in the workforce. Why should employers consider hiring older workers as they classify? Well, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on, get with it. I mean, what planet are they on? This study that came out by Transamerica the past uh, week or so ago showed that when they talked to employers, they thought that 62 should be the cutoff for hiring. And I mean, 58 should be the cutoff for hiring. And 62 really is when people should start stepping out of the workplace. But in fact, that is so not true. And that more of us are working longer uh, for many reasons, for financial stability, just because we simply love being on the job, the mental engagement, all of the great things that come with working. But more importantly for employers is demographic changes mean you have to look at this demographic because there's not as many younger workers coming up and as the population shifts to an aging global workforce um, they need to start making accommodations to figure out how do we attract these people with um, and retain them that have the experience we don't they can do the job right now we don't have to onboard them train them in any massive way uh, it's really cost effective that way and and truly, um, an older worker tends to be more loyal, not as much job jumping there, but the most important thing is they're qualified. And in the labor market today, that is still fairly tight, where workers saying we really need to find workers that can do our jobs. This is the, the group that you need to be looking towards and making accommodations, uh, things like phased retirement, flexible work schedules, job sharing, um, more workplace training for not just the younger workers, but the older workers become age friendly. And that's that's kind of the message out there. Yeah, maturity, uh, interpersonal skills as well, and historical context, all good things uh, for some of the kind of upper end of the workforce to be able to kind of pitch to some of those potential employers out there as well. Carrie, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Thanks, Brad.